Welcome back to uh, Petro and Don A do the rando nautica experience. Uh, yesterday's one was pretty interesting because um, we didn't know what we were looking for. We didn't even know how the app worked and w what everything meant, but we did realize that Don A saved the turtle. And uh, when we got up today, I did another one closer to our house. And it took us to the middle of the road. And then when we looked over, there was um, this abandoned trailer. And all the other houses were like nice. It was this abandoned trailer on this property. Uh, uh, the, the lawn was done and everything. But you could tell nobody had lived with this trailer in probably 20 or 30 years. And then uh, um, right in the spot where it sent us, there was a sign on the tree posted no trespassing. And we could see that one in red, and then right underneath it was another sign. We couldn't read it, so I had to take a picture because we were sitting in the truck just like this and zoom in, and we zoomed in. It was uh, a, a sign I'd never, ever seen posted before anywhere, and I've hiked all over the place. And it said, um, what did it say? Uh, no uh, um, predators. Yeah, predators. Uh, predator traps on property stay out and I took a picture and I'll, I'll post it right here uh, so you can see it and uh, really interesting I never seen a sign like that and that's where it took us and uh, so this thing is real uh, um, and where it's sending you and now Don A did another one and uh, it's 3.4 miles away and uh, it's kind of in a neighborhood kind of by the Harpeth River now I've kayaked where this neighborhood is on the Harpeth River and it's right in one of those bends in the river where you would normally think that there would be a, a Native American uh, uh, mounds and settlement but that area has been completely leveled and is a neighborhood now and uh, my thoughts uh, previously was that neighborhood was probably on top of, of some burial mounds and, uh, and that's where it's sending us. So let's see what, what we see when we get there. What's your thoughts? Um, I, uh, I, I've noticed that the river went around like that and you've told me and shown me through the, all the videos that you've made of the burial mounds. It looked like that. And I could see the mountain and it, it had been, cause I did the satellite on the map. So we're gonna go have a look and see why would, why What would do you think about there? Rando Nautica? Not sure yet. We're looking. Okay, we're looking. I do feel cautious. We don't want to be opening doors to anything we shouldn't be, so we should be careful. Yeah, I feel the same. But I want to see what it is. Yes, curiosity you know, killed uh, the cat. Uh, yeah, curiosity did kill the cat. <laughs> but uh, with this type of technology um, and what they're using, I have to be on top of it, and I have to know what it is they're we need using. To know what's going on. And I need to know what's going on. Uh, um, I don't want to be not in the know and uh, as far as you know using the AI uh, uh, geolocating uh, uh, quantum whatever it is it's something very new it's uh, uh, high technology and um, uh, I will go at it with a more what godly aspect yeah, to yeah. it and uh, um, warding off demons demons beware there but we'll see check it out we're almost there the water. pulling up the river's over there but I saw the water it's more, it looks like a little square now what was your thing again what was the, the intent thing you, it was intent. A, a anomaly but it came up as a void anomaly. you have arrived we have arrived there's our anomaly What is it? Not, we should stop the and tree. look around. Actually, look in your... On the phone. And actually zoom in. Okay. And see exactly... 
I'll zoom in. Keep zooming, is it? Right, I'm gonna zoom again. I know you just lost it. I didn't, I'm right here. I, oh. made, I put a pin. Oh, okay. So it's actually... A little further up. Is it around the corner? I think yeah, it's going is. straight. No, it's right here. You see? Oh, I do see this. You're right on it. No. It's right there. Yeah, oh, it is mounds. <gasps> Donnie, it's, it's mounds. mounds. Oh my God, it's mounds, Donnie. I found this one. It's mounds. Holy crap. It's a little pond. What? Is that Donnie? Look, let me see. Yeah, it's right at the curve. And we're here. That's, here, let me see. What curve is that? That's no, no, that? you should stand where the spot. No, it's here. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the side. No, wrong way. Here. Yeah, it's this way. Or no? Oh, it's that corner. No, no. Going the wrong way. And I go in the right way. But you gotta come here. It's here. Come here. Yeah, literally right there. Yes, this is where we need to be. But I'm telling you, that's it. Here, take you your phone. Wants us to stand here. So what can I'm telling you, no, it's it's the I mounds know, it's in the there. Mounds. Right. It's the mounds. Flowering Creek. Yeah, or flowing creek. Flowing. And flat water. Flowing creek and flat water. But obviously <laughs> it's this. Wow. Okay. Um not saying these are ancient Native American burial mounds, but it is definitely some sort of there's anomaly here. There. And, and there's water there. in the middle. Um, it's been built up. Um, now, obviously, you would think this is probably a drainage for this neighborhood and rain. Uh, you have the slow level. Uh, uh, the Harpeth River is right here along the tree line. So... Uh, uh, this is probably like an overflow for when, uh, if the river were, were to get flooded. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, logically, that's what I would think. But I know this area. And even before I came out here, look, there's another huge mound over there. Look over there, Donnie. Let's go check that out. But before I even came here, that's what I said in my mind. That, uh, um... This area, I thought this neighborhood already was built on a uh, ancient Native American site. And as you can see, the, the rando nautica made that somewhat happen. That's crazy. What? And now if you go over here, I mean, this is a great field. I, I, I've never been here. Like I said, I've been in the river, the Harpeth River over there. But look at this big mound over here. I'm telling you, I've been on a lot of mounds. That's exactly what that looks like. That looks like a Native American burial mound. Well, it's a problem that they've built a neighborhood here. Yeah. 
I mean, this is so pretty interesting. Uh, this is full of water too. You got a big mound over there. Uh, right over there in the corner is where uh, Rando Nautica brought us. And um, Lord, I'm telling you, this is interesting as hell. Because uh, this is what I do. Y'all know. I, you see my videos all the time. I'm running up these mounds. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit more information. But let's do another one. Let's do another one from here. Uh, we'll do a mile, a mile radius and let's do another one. Wow, crazy. There it is. Right there in your face. Rando Nautica. Oh. Okay, that was Donay's and it brought us to Mounds. Uh, now here's mine, my Rando Nautica. And here we are, but I'm gonna zoom in and we'll do the one kilometer from here. And we got a tractor, power, void, and anomalies or blind spots, quantum, and pseudo. We need you quantum? A blind spot quantum or Not anomaly? blind spot, power. Do power? Yeah. And uh, what do we wanna generate? It has to be yours. I like mounds. I like Civil War. Okay. Civil War mounds mm -hmm. generate. This is what it looks like. Let's see where it sends us. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, across the Harpeth River over there. Okay. Okay, start, start journey. journey. Yes. yes, this is number five for me. Okay. Bookmark it. Open in Google Maps. We're going to uh, have to take my phone. Looks like we're off in a field. No. No, I'm not doing a field. Oh, it's actually right over there. There's probably another Across mound. The, it, it's definitely another mound it's just in the field on the other side but i don't even see a way to even get there let's see what it says yeah we'd have to pull off the side of the 65. No. <laughs> okay 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 let's do another one okay redo okay redo let's go back here to here generate new point okay you know what let's do same thing, one kilometer. Uh, power, yes. Power for mounds and Civil War. Oh, that's probably what that was. That's probably a Civil War battlefield. Maybe I guarantee that's, you that's I what that probably. was. It's, oh wait, where, here's a new one. Okay, start journey. Now that looks like it's actually in a neighborhood on a road, opening Google Maps. Yes. Somebody's front yard. Oh, good. Let's go there. Uh, oh, good. Let's go to somebody's front yard. Oh, I don't want to go through a field again. <laughs> okay, West. start. 12 minutes away. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're only about a, a, a mile and a half away from uh, uh, this point. And I'm telling you, it's like taking me right where I did the other video with uh, my friend Hector. Uh, where we did the abandoned... Uh, um, um, gas station and the abandoned gas station's right here and I'll drive by there really quick because you're going to see something insane is that um, uh, the abandoned on gas station Road, is gone now head southwest on Old Petensville Road look at this this Make is where Hector and I made the video and it's gone. Gas station, that memory is gone. Just that video left. So, um, this, this app, it says also that it's not just 
what you see, but it's also about the journey of you going there. And so far on this journey, for and this is my my one. The last one was Don A's. So this is my thing that that I chose. And so far on the journey there, there's an old video that I did, and the gas station's completely gone now. Okay, we're a third of a mile. They said that it was in these people's front yard. Um, it's like the guy mowing right there, maybe. It's the guy mowing. No, not there. Now, this is really close to where I launched my kayak before, and I've had other videos where I found the arrowheads. It was right over here where I, uh, um, the one bridge is, uh, no, it's not that one. The one bridge. This one. Your destination that is on the right. right there. That's where it's telling us. This guy right here. Holy crap. Why? Have you ever run? Here, hold it. No. Look at my phone. Now let's zoom into the actual spot and it's that. It's that guy right there in that corner. Way awkward, and it literally set us here to this guy doing his car in his yard. That's literally the exact point. I have no idea what that means, but he is from Texas and he's washing his car under the shade of his tree. This guy. How's it going, sir? Uh, I just got a question. Uh, I see you're from Texas. What part? Uh, Down in Houston. Um, there's this app I've been using called uh, Rando Nautica, and it sends me to random places. Uh, and it literally sent me right here. And I don't know why. I'm from Texas too, but I'm from uh, uh, the Rio Grande Valley, way down south. And uh, I'm just making like a YouTube video of every spot that it sends me. And um, it works with AI and quantum something, but it sent me here to you. So I'm just gonna say hi. Huh. That's interesting. My name's John, by the way. John, hi, there, John, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, I, I actually uh, live here. Uh-huh. I, I work with this. You work? What do you do for work? I'm an engineer there. Okay. Actually, I, I drive back and forth. You drive back and forth in that no, car? Once or twice. Once or twice? Yeah. About 17 hours, 18 hours? Yeah. 12, yeah. In that car? One of them. One of them? Well, really interesting. Okay, great. Well, we got Dan here and Random Nautica sent me here, fellow Texan here in Tennessee. And uh, um, we'll see where the next one sends us. Uh, happy 4th of July. Okay, get this. Uh, before I leave here, and I remember what I said, you know, I was projecting Civil War, projecting uh, uh, Native American mounds. And Dan here just said that 
this land here was part of the Civil War battlefield. So, no telling probably what happened right where Dan's standing, right there. Because uh, uh, that's what I was thats what I was trying to see in my head and trying to what I was projecting. So, Dan confirmed it to me right now. Uh, uh, before I even said anything, he said it to me. So, there's, there's my confirmation, Random Nautica. I don't know what it is, but it, it's kind of tripping me out. So, the five generals were killed. The Harpeth River is right here. Now, when the Confederate soldiers came in from Spring Hill, they came from that direction and followed the Harpeth River down this way. The Harpeth River is going right through here. This is where I launched my kayak back there at the dead end. And, and the Carter House is straight that way. So what we're saying here, what we can probably say here with Dan is that the, uh, the Civil War came right through here that way, according to Random Nautica. Random Nautica, you're awesome. Okay, holy crap. That This Random Nautica is a trip. Uh, a crazy trip. Uh, what do you do next? You want to do another one? You want to do one more? You do one? One more. Okay, we'll do one more. Now, where I'm going right here and turning around, this is legit. I've made three or four videos on my YouTube right here. Right here on this yeah. spot. This is where I, it's a, a kayak launch spot. This is where I found the arrowheads. Uh, this is where that old bridge is. Uh, uh, pretty interesting. And um, uh, that it sent me right there to that spot to talk to that guy right there, that guy, Dan. And uh, what I get out of it is that uh, uh, if we were to metal detect that area right there, there might be something underneath the ground right where he was standing, uh, uh, some Civil War relics or something. But let's go to another one. Here, here, no, listen to this. Here's the information about. Randonautica takes you on a truly random adventure in the world you never knew existed. The process uses theoretical mind-matter interaction paired with quantum entropy to test the strange entanglement of consciousness with observable reality. Randonauts often find their journeys result in serendipitous experiences that seemingly align with their thoughts. Whoa. A randonaut trip can be long or short, a walk, bike, or drive, pinch zoom the map to set your radius to determine the area you'd like to stay within. Choosing an anomaly will run an algorithm over your radius to find the most statistically improbable distribution of points within your radius. Attractors are improbably dense clusters of random points in your radius, and voids are clusters with improbably low density. Choosing power anomaly will deliver a destination of one of the two types but with the highest power. Blind spots are simply random points. Okay, so do another one. Blind spot. Okay, okay those quantum. weren't working, so she's going to do blind spot quantum. Don't know what that means. But we'll find out. She wants something about Jesus. Say it. Jesus. Oh, Jesus generated the point. Okay. Okay, up there. Now let's go start journey. Open in Google Maps. Now zoom in to make sure we're not in a field. No, there's a road right there, so zoom in. What the heck is that? It says random, this one. Okay. Go to it. Okay, here we go to the next one. And it's literally right where we were on the other side uh, of, of, the, of the expressway. So... Let's see what this one is. This has been a trip so far. Okay, we're about a uh, fourth of a mile, third of a mile from the destination. Uh, coming up. Now, what did you, yours, it was kind of this weird In a quarter thing, mile, walks. your destination will be on the right. Yeah, get the map out. What'd you say it looked like? The hill. The hill? See this thing? This is the thing we're supposed to do with the hill. It's like a ditch, but... Is that another map from Dutch? We're up on a ride about now. Last Your destination is on the right. Here. This. Okay. Oh, okay. oh that road.
road's closed. The road's closed here. And there's a detour. Let's just get out of there. Okay. Get the map out. Now the road up here is closed. I don't know why, but the point is right here. As you're walking, it'll take you right to it. It'll show you. To it. Um, I'm moving away from it. Okay, then it's that way. Put me there. Across the street? No. Okay, Donna is trying to get the exact location. But uh, there appears to be this dried out pond thing. Uh, another big hill. Um, this could be a mound. Right on. Now, it doesn't say to go that I way. I think it's right here. It's right here, but we can't yeah. go in there. There is a stone there. Really against the fence there. Just trash, really. Yeah, just a, a weird looking pond. Um, Stand here for a minute and just look around. Yeah. Send us your point. Don't always look. On the ground. Where you found a driver's license that was like 10 years old of a guy who was dead in a shootout. Well, maybe it is in there and there's something in there and we should throw. I have the. I have a magnet in the truck. You want to throw it in there? Oh my God. Should I throw the, the magnet in there? Because it said the spot was like right about here, or right where this rock was. Hmm. Interesting. What'd you say? It's under the rock. I don't know. Let's dump it in the water. This is right on the point. Ugh. And we came here to do that and dump that rock into the water. What does any of this have to do with Jesus? I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to say a prayer here. Okay, say a prayer. Lord, help us to understand why we were sent here and protect us while we're doing this too. Just interested. We're trying to figure it out. Help us understand what this quantum computing actually is. What dangers are we in? And why is it you that they are so threatened by? I think it's because he's the one that's real. So he's a real threat. Because they don't, they don't, dis, they don't make an enemy of any of the other gods in any other religion. Not even Judaism. They don't like Jesus. They don't want us talking about Jesus. Amen. <laughs> okay that was uh this one uh i don't want to say disappointing because that's the way i kind of felt yesterday with the uh with the turtle one i didn't realize actually what we were doing uh so we don't really know exactly why right now here push the rock off into the water right there in the exact spot don a said a prayer uh and it uh took her to uh talking about how everybody thinks it's okay to hate Jesus and it's not uh, so um, we'll kind of conclude that for today's random nautica but uh, before I end the video we're gonna drive by that first place the first random nautica that I did earlier where it's the abandoned trailer and it has that weird sign so we'll drive back by and I'll show that uh, uh, 
It's actually in the video. Uh -oh, what's in there? Let's see if we found a dead body. No, it's okay. It looks like it's a cooler. Right? I think it's a container for something. In a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, I actually thought that was it, but um, right here where we were just at for Don A's rando, rando nautica, um, this road's closed and it looks like uh, it's collapsed over here or something. So maybe this is it, you know? Because she, she you did do a different one. Right, you did the uh, random. You did the, the the random, but it was uh. Wouldn't allow me to select. So there was yeah. Nothing. And look, they got this blocking anybody off. Wow, look at that! Another big mound. Oh, that seems to be the theme of the day, John. Mounds, theme of the day. But look it at this. Also says to us that perhaps. That's, it's like a confirmation if you're looking at the right things. There's a deeper meaning to it than just interesting. Yeah, like a deeper meaning. It's like, look at this crumbled up road here. Maybe in this time we need to be paying attention to that. Paying attention to... That ancient part of this country that we all love. The destruction and the rebuilding. What's happened here and what's happening now? Oh, it's a road. I'm not walking all the way down it too Yeah. Uh, okay, interesting. Petra, Donne, another random nautica, yeah. another mound, no telling, and it's hot. Beautiful though, hot, beautiful summer day here in Tennessee. I'm Petra, that's my wife Donne.